energy will they use and the, the, the quality and, and they're really comfortable, that's the main thing. You know, I feel so comfortable wearing them, you can walk around and you can move around and they feel dead light on you as well, so that's what I love about it. How am I feeling this close to the show time? Well, a little bit apprehensive, slightly nervous, um, excited, definitely. Uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, the models that we chose and the hair as well, every single person here has got a job outside of modelling today. And what that really creates for us is a persona behind the clothes as well, and that's really, really important. London special. What is it about London Fashion Week that makes it different than all the others? Well, you know, we, we, we speak to a lot of people about this actually, and they say, I was talking to someone today about this, and um, I think Paris has the uh, is, is, is the most uh, sort of glamorous in some ways, and Milan is actually quite um, the, the, the tailoring's very good, and the US is very organised apparently. Yes. But London, the most creative, and we're delighted to be part of that, and it, it's an absolutely fantastic thing for us to be doing. I think they, they've got really beautiful clothes, you know. Um, they sent me a little present today, which was beautiful. It was a really beautiful tie, and um, I think they're really, really exciting. And, uh, and I'm just really glad to be here. Well, I'm wearing Rake. Um, I like their cut. That's the main thing in a good suit, I think. It's all about the cut and the fit, and, and uh, they fit very, very well indeed. And they've got a great pedigree, having worked in Savile Row in the past for other brands. But uh, it's great to see Clive and Will sort of branch out on their own and, uh, and I just think their suits are fantastic. Oh my god, I think it's the di diversity and it's, you know, the, um, it's just, you know, it's all associated with, with men's fashion, which is great and there's not enough dedicated to it. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, I admire, the, admire them for doing that. I like the fact that I think it uh, manages to combine um, kind of traditional English tailoring with a very modern, very contemporary London silhouette. I think it's a brilliant advert for what British fashion can do actually. Um, I'm a big fan. Well, Mercedes Benz to me um, kind of optimizes glamour, it's chic, it's stylish, it's, um, the craftsmanship's amazing. So I think that's everything that kind of fashion's all about. So it's, yeah, it's the perfect combination. No, Mercedes is just a, a great, solid, understated brand that everyone knows and knows it works. And so, uh, yeah, I think that's a good fit. This is something to start as something really quite fab. I mean, it's been sort of underlining quite a buzz about the brand for a while. We've had them sort of a few seasons in now. And um, it's, it's like taking sort of quite a senior stage within the men's day, I think, yeah, for sure. What I liked about Rake Show tonight is they stayed true to their initial ethic, it was about mixing it, but they've taken up a little level and they're channeling something now that's quite important, which is men wearing evening wear stuff mixed in and it actually being quite convincing and in a runway thing you could do that. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It was, it was brilliant. Loved also loved the models. Loved the fact they were just they're older than me, which is nice. Um, thought the collection was beautiful. Oh, well I think the response from the clamps was very, very good. Uh, I hope the order books are as good as the claps, always. Um, but I'm very, very proud of uh, very, very proud of a team that have worked so hard. So for them and for all their hard work, I, uh, I feel it went very well. 